Good morning. Well, it's morning up there. It's what good whatever it is, wherever you are. Back in central Kansas. It's a beautiful central Kansas morning. Ugh, Kansas. Um, okay, so I'm actually filming this before the uh, episode two goes live because uh, of other commitments that are forcing this. So I asked in the last episode about selling the uh, this tractor and getting the cure of it and I also hated this plow and I thought about it and I'm like you know I really hate this plow there's no no if ands or buts I hate this plow I also don't like the cedar because the cedar doesn't have a cultivator built in which is annoying so I thought about it and I decided this tractor's going <laughs> we're gonna go get the cure of it and also while we're gonna while we're heading that way actually I can't do it while we're heading that way I went ahead and fast forwarded time once everything was planted so we're just about ready for harvest which is good um, because we could use the money in fact we'll go ahead and speed everything up until we can get some get some growth going go ahead and put it at 60 times there okay drop this off See if we can get it in here without knackering everything up. Mm, drop it. Ooh, I almost tipped it over. Hop out, run over here. And sell. Stupid plow. I really don't like that plow. Uh, are those grown yet? I don't know. We'll find out here in just a moment. Go get the cedar. Sell this tractor. Now, the Kirovitz, not really fond of using the Kirovitz for the hauling the trailers by the, the harvester because of the articulation of it. Just sort of bothers me. So we're going to uh, use the little red tractor for that, which is fine. It should have more than enough power to do that. Y'all have asked me over and over and over again to get into sheep. So uh, we're going to get into sheep. I think the only problem is for me the uh, cost of sell that, sell that, and sell that. There. The cost of the uh, front end loader is kind of a pain, but we'll figure that out. So let's go to our mods, get our Kirovitz. I am not going to buy the twin wheels because there's no reason for the twin wheels. I'm going to go and buy the Kirovitz. And we're going to go over to our cedars. We're going to go down and get... Now, I'm thinking I'm going to get this one because this one has what I need. Now, this would be... This is going to be useful, I think. I mean, I know I have to cultivate first with this one. But I think this is going to be useful for the big fields. I don't think we're quite there yet. I think this 9 meter... Oh, yeah, yeah. I think this nine meter will be more than enough right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. And that should be. We have a little bit of extra working capital. Um, how's our how are our fields? Our fields aren't grown yet. Let's also go over to any mules. So sheep and chickens were the two that you guys were screaming at me to get. So we're going to get, um, let's get a few sheep. Let's go with 50 sheep. And let's go with 50 chickens. Click, 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 click. Chickens. 50 chickens. Okay. Start up our Kirovitz. So we're one step closer to uh, having a mod only farm. There might be some things that we just aren't going to be able to, to get as mods. Cedars, I'm concerned about. Cultivator, we have. Plows, I'm concerned about. Um, what else am I going to. What else is there? 
I think that might be it in terms of things I'm I'm worried about in ter uh, getting mods for. But I'm going to keep my eyes open. I kind of we might not go completely mod in this season. We might save that for next season. Get this in here. Um, only because I'm kind of just wanting to feature stuff that came out of the season one of the mods. But we'll see. We will see. All right, let's drop that off. We're just going to leave the tractor here. Yeah, that's fine. Now we're going to go and get... How are our fields looking? Oh, our fields are good. Let's slow time back down. We're going to need this over by the sheep. Sheep are... No idea where the sheep are. Where's my... Sheep are... Oh, I'm going the right direction. Sheep are that way. Okay. Good. And let's pick up some grass on our way. For the sheeps. Yummy, yummy sheep grass. There is a lot of grass in this in this map, which is nice. All right, let's gotta gotta keep our lawn mode mode so we can have uh, you know our barbecues and you know the, the church get together, have all the the family over, play badminton and croquet or something like that. What do I know? I don't know nothing about that kind of stuff. Alright. I'll just hop across the gravel here. Where is my sheep? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, look at my sheep. They've already started producing wool for me. How nice of them. Okay. I don't know where I'm going to park this thing. I do like to park all of my equipment under cover. But I think I'm going to make an exception for this profi hopper because I really don't like the profi hoppers. And full. I'm going to run over here, empty this into here to get my sheeps happy. Then we'll go get the cat and get it started. We'll start with the small field. Oop, oop, whoa. Go. Let's go get the cat. Ah, big cat engine. Cat power! <laughs> All right, let's get that help out of the way. Oh, look at that. It's dumping. Yay! Now, y'all asked for me to show more. You wanted to see more and more. So I'm going to try to limit my cuts, though, if it's me just following a cat harvester around. <laughs> uh, probably not going to happen, but we'll see. Uh, way you go, buddy. Oh yeah, I kind of had to open that, didn't I? <laughs> Jeez. Derp. The derp is strong. Um, oh crap. Uh, M. M. Oops, I'm on the wrong vehicle. M. Booger. So we'll have some... Some straw we'll have to deal with. There we go. Well, we'll pick that up. Actually, you know what? Turn that back off. That's silly because we bought the uh, we bought the equipment. Though I could sell it. You know what? We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep chopping the straw because we can sell. Yeah, we can. We could sell the baling equipment, and then we wouldn't have to pay for the baling equipment, and that's probably a good idea. All right, so let's not you, you. Oh, look at the sheep! A hey, sheep, what's up, sheep? Uh oh, we crashed. <laughs> uh oh, oh, no, oh, oh! Wow, you're a loud chewing sheep. Oh, oh no! Get, get off of there! Woo, we made it. <laughs> right, we're gonna go park the profi up under a tree. It's up there, hired worker. I don't name my hired workers. <laughs> Alright, we're going to park right here under the tree. 
Now we're going to go get this guy. So I could go sell this stuff. And that would be just a little bit of extra money in our pocket. Where did I put those trailers? They're over here. So I got to think about that. I might sell that baling equipment. Just because I don't need it with the cat. All right, let's get in the cab. Woo, turn. <laughs> Oop, go the other way. There we go. We're going to have our miniature little road train. All right, he's probably going to he's going to be able to finish that whole field without any help from me, so we're going to go over here. Yeah, he's like 22% full. Not going to be a problem. I, that little field, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I think long term, I'm probably just going to turn it over to grass. Let's make sure we get all of our trailers off the road. That should be off the road. Yeah. Easy pe- Dude, you're missing stuff. What's going on with that? Huh? Huh? What's going on with that? Oh, because you're cutting in like that, I see. He's trying to make full use of the head, and like, he's missing just a little bit. It's not a huge deal, but... Still. It'd be nice if he got all of it. Now, this is Barley, and Barley is currently going for... 303... 369 at the mill. Excellent. You get a pretty good yield out of barley, too, which is... I think the canola is worth more per ton, but your yield isn't nearly as good. So coming off of this field, again, no prep on any of these fields. I'm not, I'm not uh, fertilizing or anything. I'm just going in and... Dude, you're... Really? You're going to make me have to do it, aren't you? Ugh. Anyway, um, so I mean, once I get this field completely harvested, including all the little nubbins he's forgotten, you're going to stop here, aren't you? Yep. Oh, no, you're not. You're going to go ahead and go back up. You make no sense. None whatsoever. All right, let's close that. All right, so we're going to write this down. Where's one of my notepads here? Because we're going to notate exactly how much we came off. Now, this is an untended field of barley. So I'm going to take control of him, and I'll pick up that the nubbins here and there to make sure. Really? You call that done? That's not done. That That's not done. Ugh. Hired help these days. You can see how I cultivated the field in a circle, actually. I actually found it a little bit more efficient just to, to run in a circle. Go. That little bit. I'll just go make sure he got all of it. And then we'll write down what our barley yield is wheat barley canola wheat corn will eventually do a maybe I don't know corn is corn is a little bit tough because you do have to to buy the special cedar for the corn go and let's get these last little nubs here gonna be 49. 4963. Just turn that off. Okay, so 4963 is what we got in barley. Untended. All we did we did plow it. So that's all the only thing we did with that field was plow. 
Well, and cultivate, obviously. 4963. Hmm. We'll go ahead and pipe out what we got. Then I can let him run for a while. Go. Big old field of barley with all kinds of problems here because of the terrible plowing. Ugh. Stupid plow. There we go. Let's back him up so I can get him all lined up to make a full pass because I don't want to waste any time. Way you go, dude. Now this field isn't a good field to measure because there's so many problems. The other field I was really careful with. Right, we're probably going to miss some stuff here and there, but that's okay. Put the pipe back now. Thank you. All right. So now we got the cat rolling out here. Let's go ahead and get the cure of it. Back it up. Back up to this. We'll go with wheat. And I am going to fill this. And the reason I'm going to fill it is because I'm probably going to do a good bit of the seeding to make sure that that field is fully covered. So it is going to cost us a pretty penny, but that uh, are. Go fill this guy up. I do, at least on the bright side, I can fill it up with wheat and then switch it to canola and I don't have to empty it and refill it. That is nice. Alright, and there we go. And I'm filling the other reason I'm going to fill it all the way up is because then I can do sort of clean up on this other field because you know the hired worker is not going to do a good job at all. So let's head out over here. The cure of it. We've got 68,000 in the bank. Let's get this go. Line up like so. Turn it on and then head out. I'm not going to do the best job in the world, but we're going to slow it down here. Oh, that didn't really work the way I wanted it to. Yeah, I know, I'm like seeding like a microcosm of the world here. All right, let's go like that. Now that you get rid of all of that chaff. Yay! We got the right seeder now. So we'll get this field completely done. I'd have to stop early to deal with the uh, cat, because I can see the cat's got 56% on board. Go. See, I'm not the most efficient, but darn it, I try. <laughs> yeah, I do want to buy this field in front of us here. It's 150 hectares, I think. It's it's big. It's big time. <laughs> it's also 180,000 or something like that. 150,000. So it might be a little bit before we do that. And I do think I'm definitely going to have to have the big cedar for that field. Because that's just, that's just massive over there. Don't want to miss any patches. There's a little patch there that we missed with the... Uh, uh, when we seeded in barley, but... Think, I think it, the margin of error is going to be so slim that it's not going to matter too much. 69% on the harvester, so we'll have to go empty the harvester here pretty soon. 
should have this field done before, hopefully before that harvester needs a, an empty. And we can go find our chickens, see what they're up to. All right, there we go. Looks like one, two more passes probably. Yeah, it's probably gonna be two more passes. Because I'm a derp and I kind of screwed up one of those passes early on and barely caught any of the field. Ah, uh, well. Okay. Man, that field, that field is gonna be a monster. I'm probably gonna have to have enough money for two cats to harvest that field. One cat on each side and just kind of... I know I don't own that field. Go away. Turn it around. Leave me alone. Oh, and that cat's filling up. Alright, that's okay. As soon as we're done, we'll just hop over there. Good, he's turning around. It's buying us a little bit of time. <laughs> and stop. Turn it off. Fold it up. Turn off the tractor. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Go find our other tractor. There he is. Oh, booger. Well, I'm going to have to drive on the crops. <laughs> Don't really want to, but... He's going to make life hard. Because he'll just stop over there on me. Isn't that a wonderful sight, though? An entire hopper full of barley. And still a massive amount of field left to go. Dude, you're missing stuff again. I'm going to have to fire you. Go. You can fill up the front trailer first. Oop. Come on. Come on. Keep going. Pressing the wrong buttons again. There we go. Haven't unloaded a heck of a lot of his. Uh, come on, Ugh. come on, you little tractor! You can do it. Go. Yes. So we're we're in the sheep. We're in the chickens. We got the cat. I'm really thinking I'm gonna sell that baling equipment. At least right now. I mean, I could go buy it again. But I'm paying money to maintain equipment I'm not using. Okay, get out of your way. There we go. Alright, off you go, buddy. Okay, there we go. So now let's go get our... There you are. Get our cure of it. Yay, sheeps. Let's take this back. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking the baling equipment's gonna go. Cause why pay the money if I'm not gonna use it? And now that I have the cat, I've got the chopping straw. So let's put this in here. And let's take the baling equipment back. And we'll use that money. Maybe we'll have enough money after that. Well, kind of conflicted. I think I'll pay off the loan first. Because we're going to get some money off of the... Uh, um, off of this harvest, I think. So let's take this back to market. Hey guys, take your trailer back, please. <laughs> now someone did tell me to, to watch those cats, because they are fuel hungry. And this that cat has just started working. And it is already down to 83% fuel. So it is it is going through the fuel pretty quickly. That's sort of going to be something we got to watch. 
So when we get to the big fields, I'm just going to get a fuel bowser. I'll just, just do it that way. Okay, drop that off there. Can I make this turn? Ooh, just barely. Hop out. Sell this. Nice 56,000. And then we'll go and get the other bit. Is that a field? No, that's just dirt. Yeah, well, I mean... Wait, does the cat not use fuel with the hired worker? If so, we'll just make sure it's always a hired worker, I guess. In that case, it used 83% driving around in a circle? Really? Oi. Oi. That hurts. <laughs> Of course, I, I look at the, the Linder there, and it's 26% fuel, so... There go. And head out again with this. Yeah, I think, I think we're going to check our loan balance. Of course, i got to remember how to check my loan balance. I can do it at the store, right? Hope I can do it at the store. So, we'll get rid of this little baler. I mean, it was a good experiment, but I don't think the money is what, $235 a bale? I don't think we, I don't think we were gonna make our money back anytime soon. And it really was an exercise and more work than we needed. that turn, drop that off. Uh oh, I don't see an ATM. So look like I can oh I can check it over in that in the farm store. Okay. So let's sell that. We're at 49% in the cat, so let's head over to the farm store to check our loans. Talk to talk to the uh, old timer sitting out on the front porch, chewing their tobacco. Talking about the good old days. And how back in their day, you didn't drive a big old Kirovitz to the farmhouse. Sorry, I just had to do that. Uh, what's the button again? R. Duh. It's always R. Uh, $150,000. We have a balance of $191,000. Hmm. You know what? I think we're going to just clean that out. Yeah. No loans. Oh, yeah. So now... Everything we make is ours. Come on, Kiravitz, let's go. Back in my day, we didn't drive no Kiravitz to the store. No, sir, we really we we drove ourselves John Deere's. Well, your John Deere's too expensive. Go away. <laughs> yeah. My windows are dirty. I need to wash my tractor. I wish I could roll down the window. It stinks in here. It smells of tractor. <laughs> uh, I can open the door, though. There. Ooh, air. Airflow! Alright, we're going to head over here. We're going to park up by the cedar, because we'll just use the cedar again. I'm just going to park it right here. There we go. How we doing? You're gonna make it back? Yeah, you'll make it back. Alright. Turn this little train of ours around. Wait for him when he gets up here. Follow him back. Ooh, let's check out our animals. Oop. Statistics. 50 sheeps, 20, 20 on the wool, not much, but they're 100% productive. And we've got three eggs. Oh, yeah. We can have ourselves a three egg omelet in the morning. Oh, man. Fresh farm eggs. Can't beat that. 
that off. Waiting on the cat to turn itself around. <laughs> uh, Y'all wanted to see everything, and this is what I do. I, I literally just... Yeah. I do have to refill the linder. And we'll need... We're going to replace this with something. Because we're doing Season 1, the only thing I really have to replace it with is that new Holland, and that's a hundred and... What is that? 126,000 for the new Holland. So, we're going to have to save up our pennies for that. And we really will have to decide field or uh, New Holland. I'm thinking field. I'm here, buddy. On load. There you go. What? What are you, what, what are you complaining about? There, I'm right here. <laughs> His sensor, I think, is a little bit far back. <laughs> um, okay, this one is 83%. It's always difficult when you have multiple implements with capacity. That's where that mod up in the corner is helpful. I can see I've got 95% in my front trailer, 24% in my rear. Okay, front is full, rear trailer. Go. There. Woohoo! Look at that! Isn't that nice? Yeah, just cruising along. Our Linden, that is going to need fuel soon. Woo. Slowed down when I shouldn't have. There you go. Empty. Empty? What's going on? Jeez. I can't drive is what's going on, but that's not anything unusual. There we go. Yeah, the sensor on that is a little bit far back. Ugh. Oh, and now, and now I'm getting too close. Okay, let's... Sorry. Come on, empty out. You empty? Yep, you're empty. So we almost have two full trailers of barley. And we'll take it to the... Are we taking it again? We're taking it to the mill, right? Freight yard... Mill, yep. Yeah, 369 for barley. So that's... That ought to make us a pretty penny. Because we're looking at... Yeah, good... I think we're going to make a good chunk of change on this on this run. We got 41,000. Let's look and see what we what else do we have we can buy. Remember this this tractor and this tractor, that's season 2. We're only going to buy them if we have no other choice. We do have a choice though. We have the new Holland. Um front loaders, the cat, we don't need the cat. I'm thinking about getting this kid harvester and a trailer to go with it, which I can get from here. Because I can just make cheap silage. So I am considering that. We do probably need to pick up the cultivator. We don't want that plow. We don't have cows for that. And there's really not... We will eventually probably have to buy this for the moving the, ca the cows, the sheeps around, the sheeps pallets. Now, can you, I know there's the silage thing over by the, there's no IC on this thing though. There's silage over right where it says Catlaxion on the right side. There's the silage bunker for the uh, cows. Can I ferment there and then take it over there to the processing facility for biogas? Because if so, I mean, that's... Though there's a big field of grass right there, and that's right by the biogas. Hey, dude. Here to get... Here to get your, uh... Get what you got. Go. I could get another one of these trailers. 
70 per 71, 72. Okay, now comes the slow. Uh... Alright, you fill up. I'm going up here. I want to I wanna take one load to mark it before we end the episode. So we can get an idea just how much we're going to make off of this uh, this harvest. Hmm. Okay, so the, we've got to think about what do we want to buy next. Uh, I'm, I'm leaning sort of towards a big field, but if I don't get a big field, I'm going to have to... It's going to be kind of a push... Well, I could kind of create a constant harvest, because if I stagger the harvest properly, this cat would just finish up at one field and head directly to the next field. You know, am I in the right spot? Am I? No. Dick. Oh, yeah, I am. Just barely. Oof. And still not enough. Dadgummit. All right, I'll wait for you on the other side. This, this little tractor pulling this little grain train. We're in the grain train. Kind of like Motown. Motown. Uh, so while he's coming up, I'm going to go refill this tractor with fuel, because the last thing I really want to do is risk that. We can run over here and get fueled up in the time it takes him to get up this uh, field. And I've got this my, my little house with no cars, because I don't own any cars. Uh, I'm, I'm a poor farmer, just paying off my bills. Paying off my bills. Refuel. Turn off engines while refueling. <laughs> Slurp, 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 slurp. And done. And away we go. Uh, how's that cat doing? Oh, the cat's doing fine. Yeah, so I used, what, 17% fuel in the little bit of driving I did? Good night, that cat is thirsty. Whoever, whoever posted that comment, boy, were you right. That is one thirsty, thirsty uh, harvester. But I guess if, as long as I just keep the uh, hired worker on it, I'll be okay. I'll probably still get a pick up a fuel bowser at some point in time, just for safety reasons. And I can always just handle re refuels on the road. And I'll probably have equipment parked off in various sheds anyway. Alright, let's get the last. I think this is going to be enough to get us over the hump to be full. Go. Come on. No, no. Come on, come on, come on. Unload. There we go. My, my road train has got all kinds of issues going on. Ugh, almost there. <laughs> Creeping up. What is this thing old? 42,000? A little road train here. Yeah, looks like it's 42. Yeah, 42,000. Alright, so 42,000 liters of barley. The mill is over here. And how much more does he have to go? What do we think? Like, one, two, three, four. I'm going to put it on five passes. Yeah, I think he's got five passes to go. Then we'll get the Kirovitz going, laying out some wheat. So 42,000 liters. And there, there's a a calculation here, because it's 42,000 liters in the trailers, but we're paid by the ton. 
so let's check our finances. Harvest income is zero. Good. So whatever we drop in here is all gravy on the gravy train. We can do the maths from there to find out how much, how many liters of barley per ton. here to you out lovely money look at that just rolling up that's that trailer done yeah I could do the math on the 21,000 liters but that actually would be easier 7644 7644 liters and we were paid uh, 365 a ton. Go ahead and empty that. No, 76 and 21,000 liters. 21,000 liters. 76.41 dollars. There we go. Sweet. So we got 56,000 dollars right now. Oh, well, we're driving back. I'm gonna my calculator down here. So we had 21,000 liters. So we're paid 365 a ton. And I want to find out how much I'm getting per liter, right? Yeah, so it's 365. So 70, 76, 44, 365. So we had 20, basically 21 tons of barley. So it's a thousand liters per ton, which is probably something normal somewhere. I don't know this stuff. Well, I probably do if I think about it. Hush. Just hush. Just stop it. Stop the laughing. You can stop. No more laughing. <laughs> uh. Alright. Let's go. I like how he's 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 emptying back there, but it's filling up the front one. Yeah. I think it has something to do with the way the road train is tethered together. Oop, go faster. So I think we're going to So I'm not stockpiling anything, because really uh, if a great demand comes along. What am I going to do? I need the money more than I need the stockpile. Let's shut that tractor off. Bye. Cough, cough, cough. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I like how it just suddenly stops. It doesn't fade away. It just stops. <laughs> so we've got um, 56,000 right now. So let's let me go get the cure of it. We'll go ahead and get the cure of it started on this on the field over here. And then that is going to suck up a lot of our money. What the heck is my field? It's over here. Jeez. It take me a while to get used to the where all my fields are. Yeah, th this will suck up a lot of our money hiring a worker to do the sowing, but you saw how difficult it was for me to sow that little field. We don't want to repeat that on this big field, really. All right. Is that a good, good location? Good-ish. Yes. All right, straight back, my friend, straight back. It wasn't really straight back, but it was close. All right. Really? Come on. Stop that, Salinas. There we go. Kirovitz is on its way. So this will be sown in wheat. Let's go look 
How are you doing? 27%? You'll be fine for now. I want to go see the big field over here. I want to go look at it again. I want to see how much it is so we can make a decision. Can we beat the Kirovitz to the corner? Yes, we can. <laughs> Zoom. Bye-bye, Kirovitz. Work hard. I could get the kid and all of this grass. I could eat up all this grass, take it over to the facility over there. That would probably be a really good idea. We would have to buy a front-end loader. We could buy that little Geller thing. No, that's season two. That's season two, dear. Can't do that. Hmm. Uh, we'll see. We'll have to, we'll have to have a think about that. I'm thinking it will make we'd make good money. Hmm. All right, where's that? Oh, there's the icon. Can I just call somebody up? Hey, how much is the field next door to the? What is that? What is that? Is that town? How much is the field next door to town? <laughs> <sighs> Driving. Driving Miss Daisy and jump. <laughs> All right, what are we looking at? 155,000 for 103.7 hectares. Okay, so what are we going for? We're we gonna go for another 100,000 to buy this field. We need more than 100,000 to sow the bloody thing. Um, we're gonna go for a hundred thou. 100, well, yeah, we'll need like 150,000 easy to get this field and sow the field. So do we go to save our money, get up 150,000 and buy this big old field? Or do we buy... Could we buy... Well, the solar panels don't add a whole lot to the farm. Really. I mean, I think it, they add something. Okay, so here's our options. Solar panels, if I remember correctly, solar panels are 125,000. So do we save up to buy the solar panels? A solar panel, which isn't gonna get us a lot of money, but it might pay the wages of our workers. Do we get a couple B houses and stick them along the uh, area here? Which again, could also pay for our workers and don't require any maintenance either. Do we save our money and buy that big field? Or do I get that little silage chopper, a little double chopper, and uh, and attempt to cut all that grass over there and fill, and not fill, but make use of the silage bunkers to make a little bit extra coin on the side. So that's, that's where we're at. Um, we're gonna, I'm going to let this worker, should I name the worker? I don't want to name the workers. We're going to let the combine finish up. The Kirovitz will be seeding nicely. We'll be, we'll be rolling in the wheat come, uh, come next episode. We've got, we've got 50 sheep that have produced 1% wool. Lazy sheep. And we've got 51 chickens that have produced four eggs. So we probably could buy a few more chickens, but I don't, I mean, maybe some more chickens and some more sheep, perhaps. We'll think about that as well. Here comes our cat. Well, it looks like he's got two more passes. I think I'll go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, the Kirovitz is seeding. The cat is finishing up the last of the collection. Uh, I won't sell this. I'll save this and sell this on, on the next episode so we know how much we made. Put it in the bunker or something. And, uh, yeah, let me know what, what, you, uh, what you think of the various options we have in terms of keeping all of our... keeping ourselves going forward on our little farm here big farm here. <laughs>
So until then, this has been Derek Tebbers playing Farming Simulator 2013 here in central Kansas. Bye!